Okay, so as you can see from the title, or maybe you can't see from the title, I don't know how I'll be. Oh, did you know? I don't know how I'll be titling this, but yet another dark day. Hopefully, I can make it somewhat less grainy, but we'll have to see. Uh, Mari Mari Kompuchen, welcome back. Today, I am doing my. Well, I don't know. I was going to say my first, but this might actually be my second upload from from Raskasta Jolwa. Yeah, I am not pronouncing any of that correctly, I'm quite certain. So anyone from Finland, I do apologise, but I don't know Finnish, so I'm doing my best here. And the song is Oi Jolwa. Yeah. <laughs> When the o, the o and the U are together, I think one of you uh, mentioned that the O is supposed to be pronounced like the Swedish O, which is an A with a little ring on top. So it's supposed to be Jolu, I suppose. Jolu, so it's O and then U. Um, however, what throws me away is at least in the word which I'm thinking, means Christmas. The L-U-A, how is the U pronounced there? Loi? Is that supposed to be that way? L-U-A? Loi? Yeah. And then on the second word, on the title of the song, Oi Jolu... The U, the Y and the E. Uh, it is an E, uh, yeah. It's an E. Uh. Uh, which is the O uh, with two dots. Um, Lawyer, yeah, I don't know. Blood Johnson, at least I can manage that. I'm guessing Raskastajolwa, or however that's pronounced, means sort of like rock Christmas, rocking Christmas, or something like that. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm guessing that I, I want to remember, but I can't find the comment. But I'm quite certain that one of you very early on on my posts recommended, I think this one. Um, and uh, mentioned that it meant sort of like a rocking Christmas or rock Christmas or something like that. But uh, I might be wrong. This is performed by Flora Johnson and it's from 2016, if I remember correctly. I'm just gonna get it going in the computer so I can just press play when I want to start it up. And look at that frozen lettuce. Frozen gothic letters, to be precise. And mittens. Okay, so um, I'm liking this idea that they have some kind of a rock artist uh, perform more Christmassy songs. I feel like we need to bring that to Sweden. If we don't already have it, then why have I missed it? Because um, I'm definitely liking the idea of that. So um, uh, I'm guessing also we might, I might uh, recognize the melody because obviously the title in Finnish isn't helping me in one bit to go like oh it's that song but many Christmas songs are sort of uh, translated into various languages so uh, I might know the melody I might know which song it is uh, but I might also not know because they are also very uh, there are also many uh, sort of uh, native um, Christmas songs so um, Okay, I'm gonna start. Uh, stop rambling and start with this reaction now. Yeah, 2016. Oh, uh, I know. You know this song. Yeah, I think you I know it too. Every word, so I would love to hear you sing along with me. Will you? I mean, come on, rock take on Christmas. Yeah. It's oh, holy night in English. I'm missing my red hair now. This is one 
of my favourite Christmas songs. Not in Swedish. I don't think I said. <laughs> like she wouldn't sing this absolutely perfect anyway, but still. Oh, her belly! She looks beautiful! Oh, that electric guitar. Yeah, come on. We need more rock in Christmas. Where she chooses to have a vibrato because she can do notes clearly without vibrato. So the places where she chooses them are just oh. Oh, that was gorgeous. I'm going to listen to that again. Uh, what I like is, uh, personally, because I know that obviously the Swedish version and the English version, um, it's interesting uh, because uh, there are different vowels basically on the places where I'm expecting another vowel sound uh, because of the different languages, obviously. Um, and it was beautiful in Finnish. I really liked the vowel changes because sometimes when you hear a song translated into another language, it's sort of like you make it you make it work, but um, but sometimes you feel like it's more forced, like it doesn't fit, and sometimes they retranslate the words completely to make it fit. But uh, I really liked again. I don't know if it's exactly the same lyric as it is in Swedish or in English because between the Swedish and the English version there are a few differences um, not many but there are a few word changes here and there um, you know when it's not directly translated um, so I'm guessing there might be sort of changes that are made to make the song work um, basically um, but it was beautiful in Finnish so I'm definitely going to have to listen to it again um, those of you who know Finnish, um, let me know. Um, obviously, she's a bit of a perfec perfectionist in the best sense of the way in her singing, because otherwise she wouldn't sing the way she does. So 
uh, let me know, um, you know, did she nail the finish perfectly, both in the singing and then there at the end. To me, it sounded great, but again, I don't know Finnish, so my ear isn't trained in, in Finnish. Um, it sounded beautiful. Really, really liked it. I'm going to, if this is one of your favorite Christmas songs as well, and you have heard it by other performances, performers then let me know because i'll be interested to hear those uh, i personally like uh, the swedish bar baritone håkan hagegård who performs it in swedish and if i'm not mistaken a few years back i really enjoyed listening to jules version so that's in english um, i'm gonna try to remember to uh, link them down below as well so if you have any um, um, performers artists uh, who have done a rendition of this song then either write it down or if you have a link then leave the link and I don't mind which language it's in because if you heard the melody you probably know which song it is in your language if it's been translated into your language so uh, yeah let me know I would be interested to explore this song a bit further that's it for today I really enjoyed it I'm getting into the Christmas spirit now um, both because it's Lucia here in Sweden, so it's the 13th of December. I am hoping to get my COVID results today, uh, saying that I'm not sick with COVID and that it's just a regular cold. Uh, I've been sick for a few days, but I am feeling better, so I'm really, really hoping that it's not COVID, because if it is, I'll have to stay at home for longer, so hopefully it's not. Um, but I checked the results, or I checked... Um, before starting, you know, setting up and the result hadn't come in yet. So hoping I'll get them today. Otherwise I'll get them tomorrow. But yeah, so it's Lucia. So definitely Christmas spirit is uh, big here in Sweden, even though the Lucia celebrations have been cancelled um, due to the pandemic, of course. Wait, I need the light of the, of the screen a bit to help me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's definitely... Uh, oh! It's definitely glug today and it's definitely a whole bunch of tea because my throat is really still sore. And there is peppakakor, which are gingerbread uh, or ginger cookies, ginger snaps. I don't know, different names in different countries. All I can say is that the English gingerbread cookies are very nice. Uh, I enjoy them. Uh, you can definitely taste the ginger. In Sweden they are called peppakakor, which actually means pepper cookies. And uh, they have ginger, but they are not the same as the English ones. They are not the same. Both they are thinner, but the sort of the spice mix is different ratio, so it's not the same. So I understand when people translate certain cookies or mulled wine for glug. It's not the same thing. I, it's something similar, but it's not the same. So, um, yeah. Uh, and then there's lusekatte, which I... If I'm not mistaken, you have them in Norway and Finland as well. I don't know if Denmark has them. Um, nowadays, probably a whole bunch of different countries have them because of, you know, social media and people see recipes and something that looks interesting. And sweets, you know, recipes for baking goods are something that spreads really quickly on social media. You, you'd be surprised if you're not, like me, a bit of a baking and cooking nerd. You probably wouldn't know. But, um, yeah, like recipes are spread really quickly to every corner of the world so uh, probably a few others who also eat lucibola um but yeah so that's what i'll be enjoying and maybe maybe even a riskrinskrat maybe i'll see if i'll have the energy to cook but i am a bit higher in energy today so that's also why i'm hoping i don't have covid Especially when it's, you know, the last week of work before the Christmas holidays, which are three weeks long this year. Um, so I need to work as well. So it's that bit of I, I need to go to work. Um, so I don't want to be homesick, basically. Anyway, um, yeah, so uh, I'm not going to ask you to give me any suggestions for, for Christmas now because the recording will be done by the time this upload uh, it gets to you. Uh, but you can still uh, recommend uh, performers who are not Christmas themed um, for, for after New Year's, basically. Um, because I'm going to continue recording. I'm thinking of keeping... 
uh, maybe Fridays as an upload date um, for other musicians. So obviously Nightwish is going to continue on Wednesdays and my vlogs, personal vlogs, are continuing on the weekend. And sometimes it's Saturday, sometimes it's Sunday, but it's weekend uploads on those. So I'm thinking perhaps I'll keep Fridays for other music reactions. So yeah, so you can still recommend other um, songs and performance. So, what else? I think that's it. Um, yeah, so, if I remember correctly, if you have any um, uh, preferences, any uh, particular performers who do this song, um, then write them down down below so that I can explore the world of O Helga Nat, O Holy Night, O Jolie, whatever, sorry, Finland. Uh, um, so I can explore more variations of this song um, and otherwise, you know, recommend songs that I can record for after New Year's and um, I will see you tomorrow I don't know when I'm posting this if it's Tuesday or Thursday but I will see you probably tomorrow either way <laughs> otherwise, I will see you soon, bye!